Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another first impressions video for you all. It's going to be on the Astralis AC On Tour Highlighting and Contouring Cream Kit. I think that's what it's called. This is what the box looks like. Um, they do already have a powder contouring kit, which I really do enjoy. It's really nice. Um, but they have come out with a cream one, so of course I wanted to try it out. Um, I think there's only one shade in the range at the moment, and it says light complexion, so they might bring out other shades later on, I'm guessing. Um, there's six shades in the palette itself, according to this little diagram on the back. So, yeah, let's just get into it, I guess. And then I'll just quickly read what it says on the back. It says, contour and highlight like a pro with six creams designed to enhance your features. Creams have been formulated to be rich and easily blendable. And then it's just got the Astralis website on it. Um, so yeah, let's just get opening, I guess. Also, by the way, Astralis is cruelty-free. They don't test on animals. So that's always a bonus. Okay, so taking it out of the, the box, it is bubble-wrapped. Same packaging as the original AC on Tour palette, which is really, really sleek and quite nice in my opinion. But this one has a mirror, what? Okay, so it does come with six shades as the diagram suggests. Um, one row of contour, one row of highlight. Um, what I'll do is I'll insert a swatch video, maybe now, um, showing you what all the shades look like on my arm. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna go with these colors directly onto my face. I want to start off with this shade. I quite like the texture. It's not like anything too creamy, but it's nothing too hard either. So that's always good. And I'm just going to apply it directly to my face because that's what I do with every cream product. I use my finger to apply it to get the most precision. Oh, I do not like that color. That's like bright orange. Great. Let's try and blend that out. That's literally bright orange. What the hell? Ooh. It's still very bright orange <laughs> like I don't know if you can see like it's not too bad now that I've blended it out but it's still not the ideal contour shade or even a bronzing shade for that matter um I want to go in with this shade let's see what that does same similar texture to the other shade this is really dark so I'm quite worried still really warm tone like still really red Oh yeah, and I'm using the Zoeva 122 Petite Stippling Brush. It's kind of hard to blend. That shade I would personally use for more a cream bronzer because it's very, very warm. Ooh, I don't know how I'm liking that one. Um, I might just give this shade a whirl. Why not? I'll just give it a whirl maybe on my temple or something. Alright, that shade is literally the same colour as my skin tone. Can you even see where I've just put that? I put that like right here. Let me put some more on. <laughs> like, can you even see that? That's like literally my skin tone. I'm currently around an NC25, NC30 in MAC um, because I do have a little bit of fake tan on. Wow, okay. I could probably use that as my concealer. I mean, as my foundation if I was going to use this kit. Wow, okay. I understand this is a light contour kit, but me at my fairest, I would not be using this shade on my face. Bottom line. Um, okay. I'm just going to go in with a bit of this color mixed with this color and I'm going to put it on my temples. I didn't mind that like mixed together because it's not too dark. I did quite like that a lot. Um, now, I did conceal my under eyes, but I didn't use a highlighting concealer. I just used a standard concealer, the same color as my skin tone. So I really want to go in with maybe this banana shade and do underneath my eyes. I hope this works out. <laughs> and now I'm just going to go in with a Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush. I do quite like this shade. It's quite nice. It doesn't provide a lot of coverage, but it does give you that brightness. Ooh, I really like that shade. That's my favorite shade out of the whole palette so far. I'm gonna try and use this shade here and clean up my contour a little bit and try and make that pop. I'm just gonna use the same brush. Ooh, that's really pinky. I don't like that. I think that was my own error. I'm just gonna dab a bit of my own, like that one, here, the one that's similar to my skin tone, just to kind of fix that up. Ooh. 
That shade was good, but I personally wouldn't use it where I used it because it is making it very, very stark. Um, there's only one more shade, so I'm going to maybe use that on my forehead or something to see if it's effective. Um, so far, the banana shade is my favorite highlight shade out of them all, though. Ooh, this one I think might have been really good under the underneath the eyes because of its color, but whatever. Oh, okay. Well, that just faded away into basically nothing. Can you see? It was like here. I'm going to put a bit more yellow where I just put that color because that color just literally disappeared. And by the way, if you haven't noticed, I'm just doing one side of my face so you can see the comparison to the other side. Okay, yeah, I definitely like that yellow a lot more. Um, this is the side with the cream contours and this is the side without. I do feel like it does make a difference, but I don't feel like it's enough of a difference for me to put in the effort to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go finish off the rest of my makeup or at least finish off this side and then I'll be right back and I'll give you kind of my overall thoughts on the product. Okay hey guys, so I finished with this side of my face and then I did touch up in a few places that I wasn't happy and then I did go in with a, a powder contour kit. This one's also from Astralis and it is just their AC on tour contouring and highlighting kit but the powder version. Um, I do quite like the effect of how these two perform together, so the cream and the powder. Um, the cream on its own is a little bit lacking. I do like the darker shade in the palette and I do like the banana shade in the palette, but those are the only two shades that I really like in the palette. The other shades are a little bit lacking. I do wish that this palette had a bit more cool tones in it, and I also wish this palette had one shimmery highlight color, the same as the powder contour kit does. I think that once I started applying the powders to the cream, it started make it made them look a lot better. So I do appreciate that. And for the creams, I also do appreciate that it didn't break down any of my foundation. Sometimes when you put a cream on top of foundation, you can experience the foundation starting to go a bit funny or kind of split and look a bit patchy on the skin. And that's not desirable at all. I did not experience that at all with this contour kit, at least with the foundation that I used. I used the Makeup Forever HD foundation underneath this one, and I didn't experience that at all. So I was quite happy. Um, overall, would I recommend it? If you already own the powder kit or a powder contour kit, sure, give this a go. I think it's okay. But if you're wanting to try contouring and highlighting for the first time, this is definitely not the product for you. Like, I don't think it's the right tone. I think the price is not good for what it is. And yeah, I don't like the tone. The price is a little bit high for drugstore, in my opinion. And yeah, I do think the powder one is a lot better, but this is an okay product. And that's really all I have to say about it. Um, I'm sorry that I can't give you a more like projected answer. Like it's not a terrible product. That's what I'm trying to get across. It's not terrible, but it's not amazing. It's not a ride or die, but it's not, I will never use it again type of product. But yeah, I hope you guys found that somewhat helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.